78 laps to go. Everybody, including the set that they're going to get from NASCAR, they'll have three sets left. The math says they can run here. If they can run about 43 to 45 laps a run. Now, again, that's not factored in cautions. That's just straight up. 43 to 45 laps a run, you can make it to lap 500 on what you have. Again, you know, you're talking about, Kevin, you're talking about these games. And again, speaking of happening here, Denny Hamlin is looking to the inside of your leader. Ty Gibbs takes it. Hamlin back to the front, leading for the eighth time today. But well, we see these cars drop off like a rock. Uh, and, and when they do, uh, we, we've, we've slowed the pace down and everybody's trying to take care of their cars. But at some point, all the, all the handling still goes away on the bad cars. Larry, we're in the window, 366. Yeah, hey, we just crossed the danger zone. Now, the window is there about lap 370, about five laps from now. Mike. Okay. We're going to get a caution here in the next five laps. I'm pretty confused. I agree. They're dropping like flies. Here's Harrison Burton way off the pace. There's three or four of them out here just nursing around. Reddick getting into three. See him off the pace. Gilliland right behind him. He's having trouble. Burton way up the racetrack, but stays out because nobody wants to be the caution or cause the caution. Burton way off the pace in three and four. Yeah, and it's a game of chicken right now. You don't want to pit because you're hoping that somebody else has has the issue as you see him go by Todd Gill and Stenhouse goes around. Turn and four, the car. Stenhouse and Cindric. That will bring the caution out. Right in front of the leaders. Sure was. Well, we're 368. Still, still turning right to be able to get these teams down to the end. That's that Gillen. I told you it was way off the pace. Stacked them all up getting in here. Cindric shoots in the inside three wide and gets into Stenhouse and wipes him out. Yeah, it looked like he just clipped the apron right there. <laughs> just overcooked it, but they were getting lapped and, and knew that they had to do something that was not capable of what their car could do. Well, it was his chance right here. He got probably back on the lead lap. I don't know if he caused the caution, though. I'm gonna get it anyway. Definitely caused the caution. I think we may see that Todd Gilliland ends up in the free pass position here. Stenhouse, you hear the tires chattering as he goes around. That was actually him working the throttle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. oh, man. Great right. move by Ty Gibbs and Christopher Bell right there to avoid the car sitting in the middle of the racetrack like that. But it just shows you how hard it is to get load up at this racetrack and the speeds you're carrying around here. And that's Bristol. How many times have you been running at the front of this race and you can start to get into lap traffic and then all of a sudden the lap traffic gets antsy and starts to get in a panic and do things that are well, outside they're desperate. Of, You're going to put them a lap down. Desperate, yeah. And, and all of a sudden the wreck's right in front of the leaders and, and that, that wreck right there in front of the leaders just happened to not gather them up in the wreck. That happened, though, because Gillen was in trouble. He, he was way off the pace. He was one of probably four cars that were just nursing it around there. You know they're on the courts trying to get it to... Uh, <laughs> to a caution. All those cars it happened. All those cars were in trouble. Absolutely. The, the, the two, the 47, all of them were getting lapped or 38 was in big trouble. And look at the track surface. If you're a lap car, you can't go all the way up and just rim ride around the wall to try to stay out of the way. It's all marbles up there. Yeah. Been a wild one. <laughs> it certainly has been a lot to, to take in here today at Bristol. But that's what makes these teams great and these drivers and crew chiefs and and everybody on these teams great they can adapt and adjust whether it's strategy driving style um handling of their race cars you you have to be versatile i thought we were at daytona look at just this photograph to save fuel. well denny took off as fast as we've seen him take off right there and ty sat sat behind him there what? and decided that it was time to go a little bit faster than than what he was going as far as the pace I want to get in the lead. I like Ty Gibbs in that plan. I'm going to get in the lead, and then I want to be able to slow them down and manage that race accordingly from the lead, not from fourth. Now, Kyle Larson is mired back in 22nd, and we'll show you why. It was on this last pit stop. You know, watch this tire get away. There it is, a bad roll right there. Pete's the guys in front of him. That's a foul penalty every time. 
So he restarted at the back. In 28, he's gained back seven positions since. And that's how this goes. You know, he's sitting there right in fifth or, fifth or sixth and in a perfect position to take care of his car and his tires and everything that was, that was happening. And now he's had to pit penalty, and now he has to go back through the field and use his car up more than he has probably all day. The other thing about that is you, you work on your balance around clean air and running up front. And then all of a sudden you get mired back there in traffic and you're, you're, you're getting pinched down, trying to make a pass on the bottom, you're tight, you can't get underneath them, you can't get on the throttle, you need the real estate up off. Everything changes back there mired in traffic. Seventh place, Nemechek moving forward. Need that caution, more importantly, they're all over the place in trouble. This is the longest green flag run today. Was Larson about to get lapped as well? And this is where the race is going to be won or lost. And, and there's the five just, car, Kyle Larson, going a lap down. He's in trouble. Yeah, you just don't want to be the guy that has to come to pit road. One lap's okay, but if you come to pit road, it's going to be multiple laps if the caution comes out. Only two Gibbs cars left in this thing. It's just two veterans. They're still managed those tires and still obviously have the rubber left to do it.